The plane nearly crashes into a camouflage drone flying it. A near nightmare in the sky, a passenger plane. A near nightmare in the a near nightmare in the a near nightmare in a near nightmare in a near nightmare in the sky, a passenger plane nearly crashes into a camouflage drone flying at 2300 feet, well above the typical altitude for a private drone. The incident in the Tallahassee skies involved a U.S. Airways express jet flying near the airport. The first details of the March scare previously not revealed until an FAA official spoke about it Thursday in San Francisco. said that the U.S. was so close to his jet that he was sure he had collided with it. Thankfully, inspection of the airliner after landing found no damage. Authorities do not know who flew the drone, but say it could have brought down the plane. The safety of our passengers and crew is our top priority, U.S. Airways parent company tells CNN tonight in a new statement. We're aware of the published report alleging an incident with one of our express jets, and we are investigating. There have been close calls before. The FBI is still investigating a drone that came within 200 feet of an Alitalia flight in New York earlier this year. The pilot in that incident can be heard telling air traffic control. And this Monday, a small drone was found after apparently hitting this building in St. Louis. All right, well, in the next five years, the FAA estimates as many as 7,500 drones could be flying in U.S. airspace at any given time. The agency has been working on a plan to safely integrate drones into the airspace so that you don't have accidents with passenger aircraft. We should tell you it is illegal for commercial use, and the FAA only allows hobbyists to fly drones up to about 400 feet.